Yo, what's happening toxic gamers today we got a lot of people mad man we got a lot of people mad we got the homie dreamcast guy chiming in as well as he always does and i got a bunch of stuff that i want to share with you guys i do know that a lot of you guys are sitting back and enjoying the show and you're definitely gonna enjoy the show because it's a it's a war zone out here bruh but i'm also real sad to report that some people have went to went to coma guys <laughs> So, two likes for the video for the homies that went to coma after hearing this news, but we need to get, get into this one immediately, okay? L guys, first of all, I gotta say this, okay? As a brown man, I demand PlayStation and Xbox to make online free-to-play. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree, okay? But check this out. So, the homie Sony Pony MBG comes out, says that remember that time Microsoft told regulators, wait for it, okay? I got a video, okay? We're gonna actually dive right into this one, boys. But remember that time Microsoft told regulators and us they wouldn't raise the price of game pass after they acquired activision blizzard okay and yeah we had articles that apparently a year ago microsoft did insist that game pass prices will not increase as a result of activision merger man and right now a lot of people are looking like this a lot of people have went to coma as well because yeah you know what uh, after a little bit they have increased five dollars and just now they have increased another five dollars so from ten dollars to fifteen dollars a month to now twenty dollars a month and yeah a lot of people are just going crazy right now so the homie sony pony mbg started doing helicopters with his willy xbox andy also fire back you know what i'm saying is why give game pass your money when you can just sub to a trash youtube channel this guy said and you see like game pass is just a rip off never subscribe to something you'll never own 20 bucks a month what are they thinking okay but if you like my content and want to support my channel, subscribe to my Patreon and become a member. It's only 20 bucks a month. So you see like where we are right now. It's a literal war zone. And now that you know a little bit about what's going on, now it's going to hit different, guys. We're going to get into it. Uh-oh. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. And today we're going to talk about Xbox because the idea of Xbox... Today we're going to talk about Xbox, okay, okay. As it currently exists, is definitely doomed. The idea of cheap games, the idea of getting stuff in a cheap subscription model, I mean, that's all about to completely collapse. I think it's a pretty safe bet to say this current slate of Xbox games does look good. Stuff like, specifically, I'm extremely excited for Another Outer Worlds and Avowed looks fantastic, but... Yeah. I think Cap, Cap, he's just saying that to cool down the Xbox Andy's that about to attack <laughs> that about to attack him like crazy tonight, bro. He's just trying to cool off the Xbox Andy's, bro. I think after these games are done, Xbox is just going to collapse. And surprisingly, it is because of Xbox Game Pass. Bruh. I want to explain to you throughout this video why I believe okay. that Xbox Game Pass is actually leading to the death of Xbox as a brand and why it's coming so extremely soon. I hope you're having a great day. If you could please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So yesterday, late last night, they announced that they are trying to change the way that Xbox Game Pass works. They're mm. raising the cost mm. of it by 25%, so it's way more expensive. Man. And they're trying to make a new tier called Standard, which does not have day one games. Now, a lot of Xbox fans are defending this, saying it's fake outrage that nobody cares. Now, I, I do agree that like I'm not seeing, it's not fake outrage, there is outrage, but I'm not seeing like many, many people like taking part because you see like a lot of people are kind of like sitting back and enjoying the show people we're not seeing too many people on the field you feel yeah. what i'm saying like we need to this should have been crowded <laughs> this should have been crowded like we need more seconds on the field talking about it listen man i'll keep it very simple okay if you want change there needs to be an outrage people gotta talk about it and listen man i i see this right like if people don't talk about it they're gonna get away with it microsoft's gonna get away with it with, by increasing the prices and soon enough they're gonna increase it more and sony likely gonna do the same so if you give them an inch they take a mile my my point here is that listen man as a brown man first of all we need to start a movement here guys we need to like gamers demand more okay like we deserve more okay like they have been dicking us down every single day for the last uh, few years right like well what are we talking about man online needs to be free online needs to be free <laughs> Reduce the prices! Reduce the prices! Make good games, okay? Let's stop with the woke bone squash that you guys be adding in the games, okay? Make good games. And that's what we want. We just want good games, man. We just want free online, bro. Like, imagine paying for your internet service provider and then you buy a console and then you gotta pay for the, uh, to play online as well. 
<laughs> you, you, you feel what I'm saying? I know the PC Master Race is probably gonna be like sitting back and I, I guess this guy that you see, I guess that's a PC Master Race because the Sony ponies on the Xbox and he's kind of like on the ground right now. But I'm not seeing too much outrage though. There is outrage, but not too much though. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? We need more, bro. So we need more. If you it's want more change, expensive, if you which want is change. uh very strange to say because I think everybody's kind of broke. So I think people who are complaining about the higher price are actually upset about the higher price. Uh, people are claiming it's misleading to say that they're removing games when that is literally what's happening. Uh, there are like two different tiers. In one tier, they are removing day one games and another tier, they're not. The funniest part about this though is that I have seen a lot of Xbox people saying, okay, well, PlayStation Plus is also getting more expensive and nobody's talking about that. Well, this is funny for two reasons. First off, yeah, this sucks as well. I talked about it. I've made multiple videos about the PlayStation Plus price increase because A, PlayStation Plus was already too expensive. Now it's even more expensive. And B, it's funny when people say no one's talking about this when in fact this is an article of people talking about this. But I do think it's funny that the difference is the fact that Sony has always said that PlayStation Plus Premium or any tier of PlayStation Plus is in fact optional. You know, you're still going to have to buy your games. They're not, you know, saying day and date. They're not giving you any sort of discount. The idea has always been. No, to be. Not trying to defend like Microsoft on this uh, price increase here, but like even Game Pass is optional because uh, it, uh, I'll, I'll be real, man. Like it, it does, it's a like, good service, right? It's a Bruh. good service for gamers, right? But uh, but also the other uh, other side of the coin is that a lot of people have these arguments as well. Is it actually a good thing to do, right? Because that that increases cheapness in games. Yeah, probably that's a good argument. That's a good talking point as well. Uh, is it gonna lead gamer games to be like half baked? maybe probably but so far the idea behind paying i mean ten dollars a month and you can play like hundreds of games oh heal yeah okay that that is actually very very good so the idea is good but then they increase it to fifteen dollars now they increase it to twenty dollars <laughs> and of course once you stop paying you don't own any game so the opposite is also true i guess it's like if you're somebody that bought that that plays a lot of games then it's a good thing to have but if you're only gonna be playing like what like i i a game two games maybe three games a year then you're better off just buying the games full price then that you buy the games you want to buy on playstation which is why they actually make money but more on that in a bit and then the other okay. part of it is the fact that playstation plus is just for cloud saves if you want their indies and stuff like that for playstation plus extra this has always been an optional service whereas when it comes to game pass for microsoft they essentially imply that this is mandatory you know do you want these games? Play day one with Game Pass, when what they actually mean now is get a Game Pass Ultimate or you don't get anything. Now, a lot of people are basically pointing out the fact that it is weird that they're calling this Game, game Pass, Pass standard. standard when it doesn't actually have day one games. Yeah, I think bruh. that they're changing the bruh. status quo. I think very soon they're going to start to make it so that you're supposed to think about you buying Xbox games because they definitely need your cash. And then there's the separate, much more expensive tier if you want the Game Pass Ultimate Day One games. It's currently $20 here in America. It's going to be $23 in Canada. I think Game Pass Ultimate is going to go up to 30 bucks pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, 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 Undertaker, where's the Undertaker? Where's the Undertaker? Where's the Undertaker? Yo, I heard that. Yo. Yo, man, that is crazy, bro. Gaming for everyone, man, strikes once again, bro. Who would have thought that we would be? Man, like, listen, man, stop dicking down the gamers, bro. Like, stop dicking down the gamers. Online should be free, okay? <laughs> reduce the prices. Reduce the prices for the Game Pass as well. Like the video if you agree, man. Soon after this. So, the weirdest part about this is that the confusion of this. A lot of people, even Xbox journalists like Tom Warren here, are essentially saying, Okay, this is confusing. And honestly, I've talked about this in previous- Man, says that not that confusing. <laughs> not that confusing. PC options, $9.99, no day one. $11.99 day one includes, that's for like PC, right? But for Xbox, uh, $10.99 legacy customers. Uh, legacy customers. This is how much it used to cost, so probably like $9.99. I miss the days when we had like, what, you know, like $1 monthly try. <laughs> You guys remember one dollars monthly trials? Yo, those were crazy, bro. Those were busted, man. And, and now they got like 14, 14 new customers. No day one, new customer. And 1999. This is the one, right? Day ones, PC Inc. Cloud in as well. There we go, boys. Not that confusing, but you got that PC options wrong, lol. <laughs> Bomba card! 
<laughs> that is crazy. So, yeah, like, the homie that says that, not that confusing, gets it wrong as well. Hey, man, listen, bro, you can... Gamers are so delusional sometimes, bro. Like, I I'll be real, man. Guys, listen, Sony Pony or Xbox, let's stop defending them. All I'm saying here is that we need to come together as one. And right now, a lot more people... Like, I, I would say, yeah, two years ago, yeah, I was seeing the Sony Ponies and Xbox and this drama like crazy. It still is crazy, but I feel like that more people are waking up, people are getting older, right? So they're realizing, like, hey, are we really fighting for corporations that don't even give a damn about us? So people are waking up right now and people are equally criticizing PlayStation and, and Xbox. But there are, of course, some twinks out there, some t uh, twats out there that, that are like... Dude, defending Sony and Xbox, a man said that not that confusing and then gets it wrong. I mean, Bumblecloud right there, bro. This videos, I think confusion is the death of any brand. Uh, the fact that you start to have multiple tiers, different payment methods, the fact that there's something called Xbox Core, Xbox Console, Xbox Standards, Xbox Live, Xbox Gold, Xbox Game Pass, Ultimate, Console, PC. Uh, okay, my point is the fact that if you're a normie, like you guys, y'all are hardcore gamers. You're sitting yeah. here watching a video of me talking about video game price points. We're probably mm. the most hardcore of hardcore demographics. But the true, thing is that true, normal true. people are not going to understand this. If you're standing at a shelf and you're like, okay, do I want to buy the PlayStation 5 or do I want to buy the Xbox Series X? These are the same cost. Which one to me seems more simple? I'm just some boomer. Who so, so you're saying that normal people are retarded? Is that what you're saying? Come on, man. Like, come on, green test guy. You, you can't, you cannot be saying that, bro. You can't be saying that normal people don't have IQ, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, that, Who's that, trying bro, to get bro, into video on. games. They're probably going to choose the system that's pretty dang straightforward, where it's a console, it's got controllers, it's got games, the games are on a physical shelf, a lot of Xbox games now are digital only. I think pretty much everybody, and this is reflected in the sales, right now the PS5 is completely crushing the Xbox in raw sales numbers. I did a video about that uh, two days ago. Yeah. And beyond that, I think it's just because, honestly, it's easier. But the funny thing is that as soon as you start making charts to explain yeah. uh -oh, uh -oh. which features you get, you've lost. Quick and dirty chart by me to display the new Xbox Game Pass structure. Subject to correction. I hope this helps. This this is so ridiculous. The fact that they're okay. Beyond even that, though, let's talk about the fact that this price increase, I think, is going to make more people want to switch to either PC gaming, Nintendo Switch gaming, or PlayStation gaming. Like, even if you have been enjoying the Xbox ecosystem, like, they keep increasing the costs for the features you already have. You do not own your Xbox games. You're renting them. You're paying a subscription fee to have access to them. The same way that you don't own the shows you're watching on Paramount Plus or, you know, I'm super obsessed with House of the Dragon, the new Game of Thrones show. That is not something I own. I can watch it via my HBO subscription, but, you know, I don't really have it. I can't just boot it up whenever I want. It is Okay, on our, on our real, though, these, these are facts, though. On our real, like, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, guys, like, th th these are facts, though. Like, you do not own it, though. You'll be happy. Uh, you will own nothing and be happy. Like, that's uh, the, the era where kind of living in right now and we're real like dead ass going into that direction that that's crazy man like imagine like buying a console and then you gotta pay for the internet pr uh, for your internet service provider which is understandable but then you gotta like pay to play online on your console bruh that is not understandable fellow fellers that is not understandable and the funniest part here is that like microsoft did <laughs> they did say that they're not gonna be increasing the price for uh, for a bit because like they're gonna be merging with Activision, right? And they increased the price two times over. <laughs> ever ever since they said that, right? Or I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Like they they did increase from ten dollars to fifteen dollars. This article came out March uh, of 2023. So did they increase that right before this one, or maybe right before this one, right? Like because they increased it and then later on they came out. They're like, yeah, guys, calm down. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. We're not gonna increase it more. We're not gonna increase it more. And and a year later, Bumbocat! they increase it again, bro. Now the same thing with Xbox games. If you keep subscribing to Game Pass, you are allowed access to them. But at any point, you can just lose it if you don't keep paying for the games you want to continue to play. Okay. Like, when Xbox Series X came out, it was 100 pounds to get Xbox Game Pass for an entire year. Now that same library of games is... Oh my god, now the same library and access to day one stuff is forced into the highest tier at 180 pounds a year. I'd rather just buy my games. 
I think this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to trick you into actually buying stuff. A lot of people are basically bringing this up. Like, it is weird to think about. Uh, I want to look at some tweets here by Paul Tassi because this is okay. an interesting one. The amount of people that are defending this, the weirdest Xbox defenses I've seen is everybody knew this was going to get more expensive, so it's not a big deal. That, to me, is weird because, like, aren't you still upset that they're gouging you? You already were playing these games, and now they're charging you more without giving you extra games like man gamers are the most innocent people on planet earth bro like i, I swear to god man like yeah uh, on this one i do agree bro like it it's same with playstation xbox or anything right like like we're, we're getting dicked down big time bro like we're getting dicked down big time and especially when they say they're not gonna increase it and then they increase <laughs> then they increase the price oh, i mean yo come on dog what are we doing i honestly bro honestly for somebody I, I, i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not seeing that big of an outrage though you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not seeing that big of an outrage. People are, of course, disappointed. I'm seeing that, right? Like, yeah, like, oh, wow, right? Like, uh, imagine, like, you are given two options. Okay, let's let's give you two options real quick. Do you want to pay extra for the Game Pass, okay? One if yes, two if not, okay? Let's actually settle this down real quick. Let's see what people think. Let's uh, put it in the comments, okay? Let me know. Generally speaking, like, people that were paying $10, okay, they increased it to $15 as well, which was something that we, I guess, saw come in, even though that is not, not defending that either. But you know what? That one, okay, understandable, because after a very long time, they did increase the price from $10 to $15. But very quickly, they increased it again. So from $15 to $20, so of course people are gonna be disappointed uh absolutely and soon enough they're gonna playstation is gonna do the same and then xbox is gonna do the same and it's gonna jump up to 25 30 dollars you know five years from now we're probably gonna be paying 50 dollars for game pass by the looks of it the way we're going right imagine that imagine that you're gonna be better off just buying the games as uh, as is but i kind of it's kind of understandable why they're doing it is because of like call of duty is big it's call of duty is big bruh like, they're gonna be losing a lot of money. They're gonna be losing a lot of money, and they they are gonna be putting on Game Pass because they alluded to the idea, uh, and they hinted, and they did tease when they were looking to purchase Activision that they're gonna put it on Game Pass, right? And then we have rumors that they're not gonna, and we had rumors that they're thinking about it, and, and I remember, man, like, there was so much backlash after that. Everybody was going into coma after that one. People were calling out uh, Phil Spencer, gaming for everyone, man, right? Like, everybody was calling them out, and guess what? Quickly after, we learned that it's gonna be on Game Pass. Like, yeah, quickly after, they did confirm that it's gonna be on on game pass and now uh well they are like they're 180 ing on the I idea that they're gonna they're not gonna increase the price but they are gonna increase the price and the entire reason they're increasing the price is because brad like call of duty if they don't they're gonna lose a lot of money brad they're gonna lose a lot of money because think about it this for a second right like uh, ten dollars a month or fifteen dollars you know that's that was the new price now it's twenty dollars but fifteen dollars a month or 70 usd for the game right in the long run of course they're gonna make a lot of money but you guys gotta understand that on game pass you're not just gonna get call of duty you're gonna get like other day one games you got like hundreds of past games as well so yeah right like the the percentage that call of duty is probably gonna get the percentage that activision is gonna get in terms of revenue after all is said and done it's gonna be very very slim right so this is why they had to increase it there has not been a lot of Xbox exclusives. Like, that's not even like a bag. There's just not a lot of them. I mean, there's not a lot of PlayStation exclusives either. I mean, only Nintendo is truly killing it when it comes to exclusives. But with PlayStation, you buy the ones you want, you skip the ones you don't. Whereas with Xbox Game Pass, the assumed assumption is like, okay, you got to keep paying so you can eventually get access to that good catalog of games. Like, I didn't really like Starfield that much. I gave it a 7 out of 10. But a lot of people subscribed to Game Pass specifically for that. It is weird to think about. You lose access to it, even if you've beaten it and loved it as soon as you stop paying. I love yeah, this analogy. I mean, there we you gotta are, make right? it all or not. I, I mean, it's like the subscription. I mean, what do you expect, right? Like, uh, yeah, right? Like, I guess people are not waking up to the idea that as soon as you stop paying for the subscription, people, everybody knows, right? But I guess right now people are like, <gasps> really? Like, if I stop paying for the subscription, I'm not gonna be able to play the game? Well, welcome to the clown world, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing with day one releases. Add more features or whatever in different tiers, but this is like Netflix restricting newly released original shows unless you pay more that would be absurd and yet these people keep defending it the weirdest thing is the amount of xbox people that are acting like this isn't a big deal or even people trying to say that oh people are just overreacting i have seen a lot of people also bring up the fact i'm trying to scroll down carefully 
there is a picture of a bunch of uh, Xbox oh, no, YouTubers no, no, writing no, some uh, no, no, male no, genitalia. No. I'm going to crap it here so you don't accidentally okay. see it. But people are pointing out that... B BBC? 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 Literally, just last year, <laughs> Xbox said they're not going to increase the price of Game Pass. A price oh increase would be counterproductive as it increases subscriber churn rates. This is what Microsoft said last year. Yeah. Last March, they said that they're not going to increase the price because more people Damn, would leave man. than come on. Yeah. And it's funny that they're just going against that. This is the deal. I think that Game Pass has done irreparable harm to the way players perceive Xbox and Microsoft. And I, I think this tweet is great. Liam here is a thousand percent correct. If you look at the sales of anything on Xbox, they are flatlined. <laughs> Xbox Game Pass has completely tanked that people buy first party things or basically third party things. Everybody okay. says, I'll wait to buy it on Game Pass. If you're an indie developer and you're trying to make something and it's costing you even a low budget, say hundreds of thousands of dollars, you and your friends are making a game for years, okay, you can put it on Nintendo Switch, that'll sell a decent amount. Nintendo Switch, actually the attach rate, people buy a ton of games on Nintendo Switch. If you could put it on PlayStation, it's already got 60 million PlayStation 5s, that's tons of people that might pick it up. Put it on PC, that's hundreds of millions of people that might pick it up. If you put it on Xbox, there are numbers, there are leaked numbers and official numbers that stuff just does not sell on average on Xbox at all because they keep waiting. Okay, I'm already paying $20 a month for Game Pass, let me wait for it to come to Game Pass. Here's the big difference. I have tons and tons and tons of actual. Ah, oh, there we go again. There we go. Oh again, my man. god. Like, there we go again, man. This man, this guy, bro. Like this guy, bro. This guy, this guy bro. Like, he, where does he pull all these games from? Every time I, I'm seeing, like, he uh, pulls like a controller like that, right? Like, so he got like these game covers just like uh, within. Uh, close uh, proximity. Like, uh, how many feet we're talking about here, bro? Like, is it like? within like one to two feet like you can just like get your hand and grab it because like bro i i can grab nothing here i got nothing here like okay i can grab like my gopro here i got gopro right there you feel what i'm saying but like but like damn holy like what we doing here what we doing here? Like, uh, Nintendo games right okay i buy first party nintendo games a lot of times i'll even buy them digitally and physically like i'm super obsessed with uh my one of my favorite zeldas of all time growing up was link's awakening so i bought it digitally and physically same thing I have a huge, huge collection. I have hundreds of PS4 and PS5 games. This is like one fifth of my PlayStation 5 collection. My point here. Yo, where does he bring that all up, bro? Like, where? Yo, where? 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 Here's the fact that, like, I'm not trying to brag. It's that people buy games on those consoles. This is thousands of dollars of profit of spending of investment into future games like that's how these studios think of it okay we put a game on playstation they bought it they pre-ordered it they got dlc they kept playing it they kept engaging with it whereas with game pass if anything i think it's proving to people hey don't even worry about it you don't have to actually buy these games because guys make sure you drink water just take it easy man it's, it's just video game stuff man but yeah man we need to come together and online needs to be free online needs to be free Bruh. check out this video on the screen recently this also went down as well guys uh we had a ton of drama yeah they're trying to cancel it check out this video on the screen <laughs> if you already seen it then check out the video on the left